Hello, I'm Balint Horvath from Cinemira team, and I'm here with Emma Samiria, uh, director of Blackbird, uh, a fantasy short film that you can see in Cinemira team's uh, short, with, short uh, movie competition. Uh, uh, hello, hello, Emma. Thanks for joining. Hi. Thank you so much. Uh, could you please introduce the film in a few sentences for the viewers? What is it about? <laughs> Uh, my short film is about a young teenager uh, uh, named uh, Camelia, and uh, it's the end of summer and she wants to practice uh, French kissing be before uh, going back to school. So she calls her best friend, her childhood best friend, uh, and uh, his name is uh, Salah. And uh, she just asked her, uh, well, I, I won't spoil the rest. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your main idea? What was the first, you know, you know the beginning of the movie? Um, I had already been um, uh, talking about uh, uh, teenagehood uh, with my previous short film. So uh, youth and um, teenagers uh, are something I'm very interested in. So I wanted to talk about um, uh, friendship, but friendship becoming something else. And uh, when you're 15, 16, you don't really know what's coming next sometimes. So I wanted to talk about uh, first kiss, but um, not first love, like, wow, <laughs> just uh, it's happening and, oh, okay, wow, it's, uh, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> I, I, it's kind of a relatable topic for everyone who was a teenager or, or is a teenager, I think. Yeah. Uh, were, were there any difficulties with the making of the film or what was the biggest challenge in, in shooting the movie? Uh, I guess the biggest challenge was to work with the non-professional actors because they were very young. They, they had the, really actually the, the, the age of uh, the characters. So I really wanted the young, uh, young actors and they had no experience uh, at all uh, with the cinema. So it was quite a big challenge <laughs> for me, but uh, I had already been uh, working like this with my previous short film, which is about also uh, teenagers. So I had this uh, experience and I really wanted them to feel comfortable with all the crew and the uh, uh, set and the um, camera and stuff. So we, we, didn't met a long time uh, before the shooting, but we talked a lot. We rehearsed a bit the dialogues and stuff. And um, the most important for me was uh, that I wanted them to feel uh, comfortable and uh, and truthful. I don't know if it, it this word uh, <laughs> exists, but. I think it does. <laughs> well, I think I it want, matters a lot. What yeah, I, I wanted them to uh, uh, trust me and uh, believe in the project and feel comfortable with uh, all they had to do. I don't want to spoil the end of the film, but they have to be um, uh, close to each other. So um, that was the biggest challenge. Uh, to make two very young people feel comfortable with uh, one each other and with me and all the crew. And uh, that was a very beautiful experience because they were just discovering everything, uh, like what's cinema, what's shooting a short film and stuff. Uh, just like their characters were discovering love, actually. So that was very... Uh, beautiful to live together uh, it was set in a very nice location a very nice countryside i guess where, where, where were you shooting uh, we were shooting in the south of france um like one hour 
uh, above Nice, Cannes, and stuff. So um, my all my family is from this uh, south of France. I have been living in Paris for all my life, so I'm very <laughs> Parisian compared to all my family. But uh, I'm I I really love this uh, um, this place actually, and uh, my uncle uh, lives in this uh, van. Uh, Camelia lives in the van and yes. it's not a camping it's just my family uh, <laughs> uh, they house all, all, day, all year long sorry so, so they, they live there regularly okay. yeah 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 uh, it's um, sorry I don't have the word I have to google thread this <laughs> yeah it's the the domain of my uh, well, anyway, the land of my uncle, uh, uncle. and uh, so we were just shooting uh, there, and it's very beautiful. He had uh, all all his life. Uh, he wanted to live uh, just beside the river, and one day uh, this house was uh, being uh, sold. So he just bought it, and he's very happy there. <laughs> So it worked out <laughs> quite nicely. <laughs> uh, can, you, can you tell us uh, a, a little secret or, or, or a short story from behind the scenes or, or about the shooting of the movie? Um, I uh, Maybe I'm going to talk about the blackbirds because I, <laughs> yeah. I get a lot of <laughs> questions. So, um, very important part of the film, by the way. Yeah, 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 actually. And this was the very big emotional scene for me um, and the end, of course. But this is the moment of the short film where something just changes between them and there's something very pure and uh, happening. So it was important for me to have real uh, birds, but I didn't want to kill birds for the movie, of course. So it was quite, um, um, I was very ang anxious because I had no birds before the shooting. So I was like, how are we going to do? Uh... <laughs> we haven't worked done before. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, my my mo mother has a friend, and this friend has um, uh, is married to. Let me Google trad this also. Okay. Uh, a hunter, oh. well, some someone who hunts sometimes, and he had two blackbirds in the freezer actually because he was <laughs> going to eat them one day. <laughs> I see. So Here, he was way. like, um, if you need uh, freezed birds <laughs> i just can provide them and was like okay <laughs> so we had three three birds and we had to uh defreeze them for the shooting but after we were going to shoot another thing so we were freezing them again well it was like <laughs> quite <laughs> horrible so I remember the young actor so gentle and pure, like hanging the freeze birds <laughs> in the hands and was like uh, acting very uh, serious and stuff. And that was quite uh, funny and horrible at the same time. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and uh, after all that, I just uh, buried the birds on uh, the set, like uh, memory and thanking them for their work too. Oh, so you gave yeah. them respect <laughs> for their yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> mm, who would you recommend? Who would you recommend the film to? Um, um, and why? I would. Ah, oh, actually, I don't know because I guess it's. Um, short film for teenagers uh, but also for adults who remember their uh, first love and and 
some summers, uh, end of the summer, back going back to school and stuff. So I guess uh, teenagers can directly uh, relate to the film and adults can remember also. And maybe some <laughs> children can project <laughs> themselves, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sure, probably, or I think. <laughs> <laughs> thank, uh, thank you very much, Emma. Uh, the film can be seen at uh, Cinebury of Team. Uh, on October 8th and October 9th. That is uh, October, <laughs> uh, no, 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 October 9th and October 10th. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> October 9th and October 10th. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Cinebury of Team on October uh, 9th and October 10th. See you there. Thank you. See you. Thank you very much. <laughs>